that. <laughs> There's literally like cashew cream in my hair. Unless it's something you put in there when I was sleeping. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't think I did anything. Okay. Not last night. We were a little lit last night. Some peeps come over, got a little beer in us, and then I end up with cream in my hair. <laughs> I don't know what the hell Hannah is talking about, but it is day two of working on the new house build here. Day two. We haven't killed ourselves yet. I got new safety equipment. My eyes are already so bad, like, the lady at Ace, I was like, I need goggles. And she was like, you only have one set of eyes. You gotta protect them. I'm like, mm -mm. That's damn true. Mine don't work very well either. So. Enough chit chat with Hannah. Let's, uh, let's jump right into it. I'll just go right back in there and then point it that way. All right guys, so in yesterday's video we finished off that tree there and that guy right there. Now we're gonna work on cleaning up this tree, which will be good because we can basically trim everything right off, throw it in the back of the chipper, and then we'll throw the mulch right under this tree right here. Are you all set, Mrs. Goggles, there? Yeah. <laughs> So I've been trying to start this echo chainsaw for the last almost 20 minutes now. Just trying to get the goddamn thing started. Just seems to be like the biggest issue ever. It was running great yesterday. We ran it all day yesterday. And I just topped it up with some more gas, put some more chain oil in it, and just can't get it to start. Maybe you should just pick it up and go and throw it over there. I've been debating about throwing it and and smashing it over a tree here. That's kind of where my patience is right now with this thing. <sighs> It'd make a great thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> it would make a great thumbnail. But when your whole day is centered around this one piece of machinery and it doesn't fucking work, and it's been in for service so many times, carburetors, blah, 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 has all been replaced and tinkered, and it's just like, just doesn't fucking work. Is the, uh, is the mic on at the top? Is a light on? Yeah. Pretty sure we got this figured out here. So big shout out to a YouTube channel that I just uh, I just watched on how to adjust the carburetor on a uh, on a chainsaw. So it's uh, Steve's Small Engine Saloon, and just watched his video on how to adjust the carburetor. And I was just adjusting the low just a little bit. And one thing that I even noticed yesterday when I was using this is that when I'd pull the trigger down, um, basically what would happen is that the chainsaw would bog down just a little bit before the RPMs would start to pick up. And that's just like a little adjustment on the, on the low setting of the carburetor um, that I had to do. The guy at the hardware store was like, ah, you know, I can bring it in, do some service. And I'm like, guess what? I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna YouTube it and figure out what's going on. And I think we're good. Got our low idle perfect.
Day number two, I'm working with the handyman. I am so covered in dust and thorns. Yeah, we mistakenly tried to move a small cactus and that was a bad idea. So um, we've definitely got a lot of thorns in our fingers and stuff. I have so much, like just an inch of stuff in my shoes. <laughs> and like even in my bra and like everywhere, it's just the dead stuff gets really dusty, like yeah. the dead stuff on the tree. But the new stuff sucks because it's really thorny, whereas the dead stuff, the thorns like fall off when they when it dies. Yeah, you so got like your pros your battles. <laughs> you gotta pick your battles. Here, I like I like the fresh stuff better, but then I feel bad because we're cutting off live stuff, but if you saw the last thumbnail, like this was looked like a forest and now there's so much space. Yeah. Yeah, when you trim these trees up, it just really cleans everything up so There's much. so much dead stuff on them. Like, if you see those trees over there, it looks like there's way more trees, but there's probably only four trees over there. So if we trim that area up, it would look like this. It would look like this. Which is nice because then we can plant other trees under here. This is going to be basically like our front garden. So mm -hmm. we'll have a little like rock pathway going through here maybe a bench or something i don't know why we would need a bench honestly but, but we can plant more uh cactus and stuff cactus would be really good in this area yeah we'll have some diffused light get some acatillos and maybe some like uh, moringa trees and stuff yeah because then the deer will come and then we'll see the deer <sighs> very cool we've never seen the deer and then there will be limitless deer poop for bubba to eat amazing can I go shower? Yeah, yeah, go go shower up, you dirty girl. Are you gonna have burritos tonight? Yeah, I'll have burritos. Do you want me to put it on? Sure. So I'm gonna make fries. Okay. For myself. Okay. Goodbye, okay, everyone on YouTube. Anyways, guys, I hope you're enjoying the vlogs with uh, High Carp Hannah. Um, so we did those four trees, and we did that tree over there. So there's a lot of wood that I don't chip. So like, if you look at this stuff here, it's really dead and really gnarly. It's got all like the burp, 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 goes all over the place. Um, so I just burn that normally. And then a lot of the thicker logs here that are half decent, and I just split those for um, for firewood there. Same thing with this stuff here. I can probably I can split that guy right there, but a lot of this stuff here, it's just too gnarly. And the, the really dry wood, it, uh, it dulls the blade and the chipper a lot quicker. So anything that kind of looks gnarly and super dry, I just burn it so that we can keep things nice and clean. On the on the chipper there, I think it's run. It's been run about 20, 25 hours or so. I'll have to, I'll have to look at the hour meter. But during that time, I've had the blades sharpen once, and they're actually reversible blades. So I guess I'm probably switching them about every seven or eight or ten hours or so and uh, that seems to be all right. If it was all fresh stuff, the blades would last certainly a lot longer, but with the dead stuff, just kind of dulls that blade up a little bit more. Anyways, guys, even though we had a little bit of a mishap with the chainsaw, and that's just my ignorance on exactly how it works, everything went pretty smoothly here. So we're just gonna get cleaned up, shower up, have dinner, have a good night, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. <laughs>